Hi guys. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome and welcome back to my YouTube channel. For those of you who don't know who I am, I'm Tessa. And today I'm going to be talking about two things for you all. I'm going to be talking about the love of God and salvation. Without further ado, let's start this video. So, first I want to ask you guys a question. Have you ever wondered the reason why you wake up every morning? Or the reason why you're alive today and the fact that you can walk you can talk you can see you can do everything have you ever wondered why if you think it's the alarm clock you set up you set to wake you up in the morning i'm here to tell you today that <laughs> it's not the alarm clock it's not it's god he cares god it's god god is the reason why you're alive today the reason why you woke up the reason why I woke up this morning and the reason why you can do everything you do, like talk. Some people honestly they do not wake up this morning. So trust me, if you are like today, thank God. Thank God for your life. And God loves you. He loves you so much that um he woke you up today. It's even in the Bible. Um Romans 5 verse 8 But God has shown us how much he loves us. It was while we were yet sinners Christ died for us. Guys, look at this. <laughs> if you don't understand it, let me explain to you. It was while we were yet sinners that Christ died for our sins. <sighs> it's not like we sinned before he was coming to die for our sins or something like that. It was while we were yet Sinners, Christ dies for our sins. Isn't God amazing? Isn't He wonderful? He loves you. He loves you so much. He died for your sins. So basically, by now, you have to take it that like God don't like don't keep sinning and be like, oh, I've sinned and God doesn't like me again and blah 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 blah. Forget that because He loves you and He has even died for your sins. So take it as the sins that you are doing, God has died for them. And start doing things that would rather that God likes. I mean the Ten Commandments are there. If you don't know what to do for God's like the Ten Commandments are there, the fruits of the Spirit are there. So do those things. And your old sinful nature should be dead. And you should know that you are saved. So if you believe in your heart that Jesus died for your sins and God raised him from the dead, he shall be saved. Because he died for your sins. So if you believe this with your heart, you shall be saved. And when you are saved, then trust me. I know that you guys might be like, oh, but what I'm doing in the world right now, I'm happy. I go here, I go this, I have money. Believe me, all those things will pass except the word of God. <laughs> You'll be there. You don't know whether it's tomorrow, it's today, but th those things will pass. Everything will pass except the word. It's in the Bible. I've just forgotten where it is in the Bible. That's why I can't read it. But all those things will pass. And if you really want to be happy, like actually happy in life, trust me, it's not money. It's not riches. It's not girls. It's not boys. It's nothing of those things. Because God gives you peace, He gives you joy, and that joy and peace He gives you, like He, you just be happy, like He gives you peace, He gives you inner peace, He gives you inner joy. So if you think money is making you happy right now, believe me, God can make you happier. And money, even money, money can buy the things you need. Money can buy joy. Money can buy heaven, can it? No, it can't. And money can buy peace. But do you know who can give you these three things? God can. So believe me, Christ is the only way it's like... I don't even know what to say. But I hope you are getting me. Christ is the only way that you can live. The only way that you can live and be happy is through Christ. You have to be so happy that when people see you, they'll be happy too. Like, you get that vibe. I'm coming. I wrote the last minute verse I want to share with you on this paper. So Galatians 2.20 I have been crucified with Christ. 
and I no longer live, but Christ lives in me. That the life I now live in the body, I live by faith in the Son of God, who loved me and gave his and gave himself for me. So listen. So if you believe in your heart and confess that if you believe in your heart that God Jesus died for your sins and God raised him from the dead, he shall be saved. And then this is the next thing that follows. I have been crucified with Christ. So you were crucified with Christ. That old sinful nature was crucified with Christ. And I no longer live, but Christ lives in me. See, God exerted. Jesus raised God from the dead. God raised Jesus <laughs> from the dead. So now I no longer live, but Christ lives in me. Christ lives in me. The life I now live in the body, I live by faith in the Son of God who loved me and gave himself for me. I hope you are getting me. So, now the life that you live you now, that your old sinful nature is dead. It's no more dead. But the life you now live, God lives in you. And when God lives in you, you should know that there are particular things that you have to do. Because... You can't say that, oh, you believe you, you have repented and everything, so now God lives in you, fine, then you go back and do the old things. Does it even make sense to you? No, when this happens, you start to read your Bible, you start to get to know God more and more. So that He lives in you, and trust me, you get peace, joy, happiness, and above all, love. You see, God is love, like, He's love and God is amazing. So when you are this new person, all all things have passed. Behold, all things are new. When you are this new person, you'll be so happy <laughs> that when people look at you, they'll be happy too. So guys, turn to God now and believe in your heart that Jesus, that God raised Jesus from the dead, and Jesus died for your sins, and you'll be saved. That's all I want to share with you guys today. I hope you guys learned something. I didn't want this video to be a long video, but and remember, I love you and God loves you too. Bye! See you guys next week.